Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are going to be getting into BTS's new release, Permission to Dance. I'm so excited. I did not get to uh, watch this when it came out at midnight last night because my my job hates my obsession with BTS. Um, I've realized they're not, you know, they're trying to be like sly about it. But every time I'm off for a release, they call me in. I was called in yesterday. They're like, hey, you got to work tomorrow. So I had to go to sleep early. I could not stay up till midnight to watch it and film this reaction. So um, we're going to get into it now. Uh, it's the next day, obviously. It's uh, five, almost 5 p.m. my time. I finally got home from work. And we're going to sit down and we're going to watch this and uh, stream it a little bit so that we can help with the numbers. But let's get into this, guys. I'm super excited to see it after the teaser. It just, the boys look amazing. They look so happy. I cannot wait to hear it and to just see what they have to offer us dance-wise, too. Because I actually was just, uh, was it last night? No, it was two nights ago on Twitch. I was learning some K-pop choreos. First time I ever did it, I was just messing around trying to do it. And I tried to learn in butter. It is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, but if you guys haven't followed me over on Twitch, we're having a lot of fun over there doing a lot of different stuff. And um, I'm going to be doing some K-pop choreo stuff maybe once a week now because I had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys and doing that. And uh, let's get into this, guys. I still have never gotten used to this intro. Oh, the pancakes. She gonna take her mask off? Cause I know like the teaser, it was like COVID's over. She got tatted up. I love tattoos, sorry. Oh, is that cookie? It's the thought of being young when your heart's just like a drum, beating louder with no way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I, ch I try not to stop anymore. I, I do it on my second watch through, but he's got like this emo e boy look going on, and I uh, oh. I fucking love it so much. The thought of being young when your heart's just like a drum, beating louder with no way to guard it. When it all seems like spring, <laughs> Jimmy. To that feeling with just getting started. I will be in the back. When the nights get colder and the rain is falling behind, just dream about that moment when you look yourself right in the eye. I, I, then you say, I want to dance. The music's got me going, and nothing I can stop how we move. Yeah. Hey, I'm a mailman. <laughs> Give us them vocals, King. Get it, Yingles. <laughs> this has to end with people taking their masks off. Still got his piercing. That male person is delivering balloons, and it's not the weirdest thing I've delivered, so <laughs> that's completely fair. Come on, take me there. Ah, Tay with kids is like the best thing ever. Oh, I love this look on Yoongi in the teaser. Yes, I told you! Don't walk.
Oh, I love it so much. That was beautiful. It was so beautiful. It was so good. And like the best part about that. Wait a second. It's production crew. <laughs> Tay, I love him so much. <laughs> Kissing the dance. <laughs> that was great. Okay, I'll tell you, like my favorite part about this. It's it's a great song. I love it. I loved it. But my favorite part about this is this feels like such a perfect follow up to Dynamite. Honestly, so Dynamite came out during COVID. And it was kind of to give us that happiness back, you know, because we were all kind of so down in the dumps because of COVID and everything that was going on with it. And it was just a way to brighten our day. And it was really a, what we needed at the time. Um, and I feel like this is such a great song to kind of bring in the end of COVID is what we're trying to go for here. I know that was a lot of the point of this video um, with the teaser and some of the stuff on the um, newspaper and the teaser was you know like it's over COVID's over and stuff like that and it's just this one's dynamite was really in your face and vibrant and like high octave like energy and this one was just a lot more casual heartfelt fun that was showing bringing people together coming out of this pandemic on a high note as high as it can be and um i love the showing you know so many different sex of life um you know, different ethnicities, different jobs, just stuff like that in this video. It was just a great collaboration of life. And I I think it was awesome. Like I said, I feel like this was this was a really great, like, almost like other side of Dynamite. I felt like it really goes hand in hand with Dynamite. And um, it's just a feel good song. Like, it's just. And you can see that with all of everyone dancing together in the song. We don't need permission to dance and stuff. And like, it's just being together and finding that happiness as one united and um, moving forward. I loved it. It was, it was beautiful. We're going to go through this again. Just kind of now we'll pause a little bit more because I've tried to be better about that. Uh, not pausing like crazy. Cause I do that a lot and we just do it through the second, uh, second watch through. I love that. We uh, segue from butter though, into this with this right here, because obviously that r random clip in butter where there's the, the pancakes, a uh, stack of pancakes with the butter. It just kind of seemed uh, out of place in the rest of the music video. So it's a nice segue to come from butter with that. And I called it. They were going to take their masks off. I, I knew it was going to happen. Ah, Cookie looks ridiculous with this. I love it so much. When your house tastes like a drum Beating louder with nowhere to guard it When it all seems like it's wrong Sing along This like yellow green highlighter hair When the nights get colder My man's And the rhythm's got you falling behind Just dream about that moment When you look yourself right in the eye I, I, then you say I want I'm glad that the Postal Service was represented in this video. If you don't know, I am a mailman. I've been a mailman for two, almost two and a half years now. I 
I feel like the the hair that Hobie has, I don't feel like I've ever seen any of them with that color hairstyle, like mat like together. It looks really good on him. And Tay just he was wrecking me so hard. He's a bias now. It's him and Jimin. Okay, that was just lyrics on there. Oh, it said welcome back on that one screen in the office setting because a lot of offices are not, uh, you know, currently on site now. Everybody's been doing remote uh, work as much as possible. Businesses that can, you know, are doing it that way to kind of, you know, help not spread COVID because people are in their homes instead of all being in one confined space. I love that. This image is really cool with all these. They got all of the balloons inside of these washers. It looks really good. It's all lit. And it has disco-esque influence too, so it definitely fits with dynamite. I've never, sh I've never had to deliver a balloon um, as opposed to a worker. I, when, when I saw... That this she's got a bunch of balloons in here. It's from where was it? Hey, she's got tubs. She's got her mail tubs though. <laughs> but uh, I've never delivered balloons. I've delivered some crazy stuff. There's I've delivered a coconut. I'm not lying to you. It was a coconut and it was wrapped, but it was a coconut. I've delivered some interesting things as a mail carrier. We're seeing so many different professions, different ethnicities. I love it. All the walks of life. Anything with Tay and kids is like euphoric. What an uplifting song. <laughs> you know how they <laughs> these balloons in the back that were were released? It's like, guys, we have one chance. Everyone, more so the extras, not as much BTS because they're professionals that have been doing this for a really long time. Obviously, the dancers in the back are most likely, you know, professional dancers too. But it's like, guys, everybody needs to be on point. We can't do this again. We've just let go of all of those balloons. Um, we really don't want to have to do that again. <laughs> so can we make sure we get this in one take, please? <laughs> It just makes you happy, and like that's, I love that. One of the biggest things with BTS is like, they've always just been bigger and been more. Um, you know, I just got into them uh, at the beginning of 2020. Um, and like, I, you know, found that out so quick and like, that's why they're, you know, so large and so huge is just because they have such a beautiful message and they prioritize stuff going on in the world today. Um, you know, current events and they, they, you know, put out music that has a message to support what's happening. And so, you know, obviously with dynamite and then with this, you know, we're talking about COVID and we're talking about you know the different sections of it and we're trying to get towards the end of it here and it's just beautiful how they incorporate all of that into 
you know, what they're providing. I, I, you know, life goes on, you know, as well was talking about that. Um, just a different side of it. It was, you know, a little bit more real and talking about the stuff that isn't all happy that was going on with it. So I just, it's something so amazing about them and it's why they're so special is that they really connect with what's happening currently and, you know, they do what they do and that's just make amazing music and this this makes me so happy and like that's what we need we need stuff like that right now um because it has been a long time i mean coke has been going on for so long it's just things like this it, it helps you know just bring us together and um you know bring a smile to our face and i love that so much i appreciate the boys because of it now i can put it on my playlist you know i can listen to it every day now i can listen to it while i'm at work uh, because I didn't listen to it at all today while I was at work because I didn't want to ruin it. You know, I wanted to experience it firsthand, not just have heard the song and then just react to the music video part of it, you know. So I'm happy that I finally got to sit down and do it. I hate that it took so long. I mean, it's been out for it's been out for 17 hours. <laughs> I'm telling you, this happens every single time BTS has a release. I'm not scheduled to work, and they call me in like the day before, like yesterday, about 5 p.m. My guy that I cover for messaged me, and he's like, "Hey, man, I'm taking tomorrow off," and I'm like, "Oh, okay, that's awesome." So then I had to go in, and I just can't stay up anymore. I'm so, I'm so old. <laughs> if I stayed up till midnight to record, it would have been, you know, by the time I got done, it'd been like 12:30. And then I have to go to lay down and you don't go to bed right away. Usually I always end up like staying up a little longer and it just would have been not a good amount of sleep to go to work a full day. So I had to make that decision. I hate not getting to experience it with everybody when it's coming out. Like I couldn't be on Twitter at all today because I know people were going to be posting screenshots, which is fine. I mean, you should. I'm sure, you know, everyone's excited. Um, but like, I don't want to see it. <laughs> like, I didn't want to see it because it would have ruined it for me. But they all look so amazing. Cookie is killing me with this, this like e boy hair that he had going on. Yungles looks so good right here with this. He's got this like kind of like headband thing, and like I don't even know what you what it would be because it's like kind of like a headband, but it's long and it's like ropes and it's like hanging down. And he just looks so good with his hair that color. Anything blue is like my favorite hair on like idols. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because that blue's my color. But when he's get, it's kind of like blue, but it's like silver too, like almost a platinum. I love it. Like blue or like platinum is like my favorite. And then when they like mix it, uh, <laughs> it's just great. But this was awesome, guys. I'm so excited to uh, see what stages and stuff we have for this because I know there should be some coming or out already. I don't know because obviously I've been trying to stay away from everything and I haven't been able to keep up with news because I'm, I haven't been on Twitter. So and that's my primary news source is Twitter. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for coming by my channel and checking this out. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by and giving me a chance. If you like the video, make sure you hit a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And I'll see you guys down in the comments.